by some estimates, we've got more energy than any other country on the planet. I've heard former President Trump say it, that we have way more fossil fuels available to us, given by God, than any other country on the planet. And I remember a geologist, boy, it's got to be 10 years ago now, and I can't think of his name, but I can look it up and find out, who said he thought there were 200 years of available oil just in Anwar, which is the Alaska you know, Wildlife Reserve that we were going to go and get stuff from, but Biden shut it down. For some reason, Biden, like Obama, is okay with Saudi Arabia pumping more oil or Venezuela pumping more oil or Brazil, which is where some of the oil companies sent their rigs. They're out in the ocean rigs. Um, somehow, it was better for the environment to drill for the oil in Brazil, off the coast of Brazil, but, but not here. It doesn't make any sense. They're doing it to appease some very green lobby, some far leftist climate change lobby. So we have the oil here. We're in a situation where the president of the United States, Biden, decided he would take oil from the strategic oil reserves that are there for strategic reasons after Trump put more oil in there than we've seen in in decades and do that to lower gas prices, which are now, by the way, on the rise. Just here in Texas, they're up nine cents in the past week. So we have the ability to go and explore and get more of our own oil. We have the ability to, to pick up the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline again to get oil from our friend Canada, 800,000 barrels a day. But instead, Biden's asking bad guys around the globe to increase their oil production. Well, recently he went to, to Saudi Arabia and visited. And while there, we were told by Karine Jean-Pierre and others in this administration that Biden did not ask Saudi Arabia to pump more oil or to not decrease how much oil they're putting out. Well, now we're finding out from verifiable news sources, that's just not the case. Carrie. Yep, this is from CNBC. The Biden administration asked Saudi Arabia, the de facto leader of oil producer group OPEC, to delay its decision on oil output by a month, the kingdom said in a statement. At the Saudis declined, and in early October, OPEC Plus, which includes non-OPEC oil exporters like Russia, announced its largest supply cut since 2020 to the tune of 2 million barrels per day starting from November. That means tighter supplies and higher prices at a time of already high inflation and worries of a global recession, which angered U.S. lawmakers who are now calling for a re-evaluation of relations with the Saudi kingdom. Notably, the White House's request would have delayed the decision until after the U.S. midterm elections. In a statement dated Wednesday, the Saudi government defended its move and said all OPEC decisions are based on economic forecasts and needs. The government of the kingdom clarified through its continuous consultation with the U.S. administration that all economic analysis indicate that postponing the OPEC plus decision for a month, according to what has been suggested, would have had negative economic consequences, the statement read. Responding to the Saudi claims, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby reframed the exchange and accused the kingdom of aiding Russia's revenues and hampering the impact of Western sanctions on Moscow for its war in Ukraine. In recent weeks, the Saudis conveyed to us, privately and publicly, their intention to reduce oil production, which they knew would increase Russian revenues and blunt the effectiveness of sanctions. That is the wrong direction, Kirby said. We presented Saudi Arabia with analysis to show there was no market basis to cut production targets and that they could easily wait for the next OPEC meeting to see how things developed. So I just want to understand. So Kirby agrees that Biden did talk to the Saudi leader while there about oil. Before that, this administration said that Biden didn't talk about oil at all. Carrie, did I get that wrong? I mean, because Kirby's admitting that they talked about it and that Saudi Arabia's making a mistake. Yes, true. I mean, okay, so we would not know this, by the way. We don't have a skeptical media. We don't have a fourth rail. We don't have anybody, you know, with the checks and balances on the government. Freedom of the press, if you go and read the Federalist Papers, was intended in the First Amendment to have these people not part of the government who kept the government in check and questioned them, would be skeptical, would make sure that the people found out what the government was doing. The media we have today is complicit. We only know that this happened because Saudi Arabia, the kingdom, released a letter stating it happened. We would not otherwise have known this. So now we've got oil prices that are going to skyrocket in November because they're cutting back on production. We've got Biden who's begging people that I'm not sure like us 
to produce more oil when we can do it ourselves and they're just not going to do it here. And now we know he literally asked for a favor. You know, you, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Quid pro quo is what they call it. He said, do this for me and I'll do that for you. And the kingdom thought that they would put out a release saying, yeah, this is what he wanted us to do. And now that they're caught, they are caught red-handed. Kirby is saying, well, this is the wrong way to look at it. And they're only, they're only assisting Russia. You know how much it is for a gallon of gasoline in Venezuela, Carrie? I don't know. Take a guess. Oh, I don't know. Ten dollars probably a gallon? Ten cents. Oh, ten cents. Oh. Venezuela has its own resources. Now, the wow. government owns the companies, and I'm not okay with that. It's a socialist, communist country. I would not become socialist or communist to pay 10 cents a gallon. But they're paying 10 cents a gallon because it's their own resources. Hmm. When we have to rely on everybody else, they can do whatever they want. Does, the, the, does OPEC or the Saudi government have to cut back on oil production? Of course not. They're doing it to screw us. And what Trump would say is, oh, watch this. We'll just, we won't take any more from you. In fact, we're going to take none from you. And OPEC, you keep your oil. And then he would start pumping it and producing it himself. We would become oil independent again, energy independent again, and a net exporter of oil. Can you imagine a U.S. president, a U.S. government giving that much power to oil-producing nations that don't really like us much? It, it makes me nuts.